Hello YouTube, this is Own Soldier 86 coming back to you after kind of a long hiatus uh, from anything Smash Brothers related. I was finishing up a uh, master's degree and now that that's completed, I'm going to come back and take a quick look at some of the work that I had done with Smash Brothers and uh, continue on some of the projects that I had uh, planned to do. So one of those projects being a follow-up to the Sonic 1 mod is of course Sonic 2. <laughs> Um, and you can see in the background here, there's a little, uh, menu splash screen to show that as well as I have a, a little menu here too, or a little, um, a splash logo here, Super Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Brothers. Well, wow, that is a mouthful. I think I'm going to change that to Super Sonic 2 Brothers. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But, um, this video really is here to serve two purposes. Uh, one, it's hopefully going to get you guys excited about, uh, the work I'm going to do on Sonic 2, as well as serve as an introduction to a video series I wanted to start uh, related to making Smash Brothers levels. As it's going to serve as kind of a tutorial uh, for those of you who are interested in making your own levels for Super Smash Brothers 64, um, but really have minimal experience doing anything video go game content related. Um, I have some experience working with um, designing levels. I did levels for um, Call of Duty. We're, we're talking the original one from like 2000, um, you know, the World War II ones. Um, I did uh, Counter-Strike 1.6, I did Half-Life, I did um, Jedi Academy. I still do that, some of that to this day. Um, so my experience is really limited and especially considering the the tools I've used are completely outdated. <laughs> so um, my experience is limited and getting into this project, I had to do quite a bit of learning to get kind of caught up with uh, some of the new, um, I guess, newer tools that are used to create uh, video game levels. And I don't want to intimidate anyone out there that's interested in doing this. I, I will be honest, I don't have a lot of experience. And, you know, if you're passionate enough about it and you have some downtime, um, I think that you can pull it off. And these videos that I'm going to do are going to um, hopefully give you the tools and, and resources you need to help uh, make that easier uh, to facilitate making your own levels. So um, I hope that gave you a little idea of what we're going to be getting into. Um, and I have a little extra time here. I'm using Screencastify, so these videos are going to be short. They're only going to be about five minutes long a piece. Um, but it'll be a playlist, so on YouTube, and you can just run the playlist, and we'll go video by video, step by step. <laughs> They'll be short, but it'll be uh, it'll be fun. I just want to make this really fun for you. And uh, sometimes what I like to do is have these YouTube playlist things going in the background while I'm working on something else, like my master's projects. Um, so <laughs> maybe you'll be doing the same thing that I was doing uh, months ago. But anyway. Let's take a quick look and see where we're at with this Sonic 2 mod these days versus mode. One stock is fine. We're probably not going to play any levels because I'm running low on time already. So let's just take a quick look and see what we have planned. Um, we have Emerald Hill Zone replacing Peach's uh, Castle. Ooh, this one already has a level design created for it. Mystic Cave Zone will replace Congo Jungle. Um, Aquatic Ruin Zone will replace Hyrule Castle. We already have a level designed for that. Chemical Plant replaces Planet Zebas from the Metroid series, with the one with the lava, and we already have a design for that as well. Green Hill Zone is going to replace Mushroom Kingdom. Sky Chase Zone, which I'm thinking now might be interesting to do Wing Fortress Zone instead. Um, we'll take a look at that later. Hilltop Zone, Death Egg Zone, and another Casino Night Zone. And we'll use the same assets that I had from the Sonic 1 mod version of Casino Night Zone, but I'm gonna try doing a different level design for this one. So we will um, dive more into this. Um, I will take a couple videos to show you what I've done already. And we'll talk a little bit about the design process and then we'll start digging into how to make this work. So I hope you stick with me and give a couple likes if you will, so we can make this popular. All right. Catch you later.